Everyone ready? Okay, thank you. At around 3.50 p.m. yesterday, uh, police and paramedics were called to an address at Liascos Avenue at Newton after reports a man had been shot multiple times. The victim was an 81-year-old man from the address and he was treated by paramedics at the scene for gunshot wounds to his upper arm and upper leg before he was rushed to the Royal Adelaide Hospital where he remains in a critical but stable condition. Detectives from Eastern District along with Star Group officers searched nearby houses but did not locate any other person at that time. About 7.20pm, a vehicle belonging to a man police were looking for in relation to this incident was located on Gorge Road, Athelston. Police subsequently closed Gorge Road while they searched for the man and at about 9.30pm, the body of a 19-year-old man was located deceased near the River Tyrone. The firearm that was believed to have been used in this incident was located near the body of that man. There are no suspicious circumstances surrounding this man's death and police will be preparing a report for the coroner. The victim was known to the deceased man and there are no other suspects at this stage being sought in relation to this incident, but we are keeping an open mind as the investigation is continuing. We believe that the firearm used in the incident belonged to a licensed firearm holder and inquiries are continuing around the security of that firearm and will form part of this investigation. Unrelated to the actual gunshot incident, uh, while police were approaching the victim's property, a member of the public uh, engaged with the police and it will be alleged that there was a struggle between police and that man. And during that struggle, a police firearm was discharged. I can say that that discharge of the firearm was not intentional and that an internal investigation is currently being conducted in relation to the circumstances surrounding that. As a result of that struggle, a 53-year-old man was arrested for hindering police and was released on police bail after being charged at the City Watch House. Thank you. I'll take any questions. Can you confirm if the victim was the suspect's grandfather? I can confirm that they're known to each other as family members, yes. And in terms of that investigation into the shot that was fired, um, do you know how that shot was fired? Was there a struggle and the gun went off? Or? Yes, there was a struggle. Uh, and during that struggle, the gun discharged. That in itself is the subject of an internal investigation. But what I can say is that shot was not fired deliberately. And did it discharge onto the ground or it didn't obviously hit anyone? No, the, the shot fired discharged into the ground and there were some very minor injuries to another police officer that didn't require any medical treatment at the time. And were the injuries due to the struggle or nothing to do with the shot? Uh, we believe the injuries to the other police officer may have been a result of the discharge of the firearm. Can you tell us the type of gun that was used in the shooting and also explain how this 19 year old boy came to possess that gun? I can't go into details about the type of firearm. That, that will form part of the coroner's investigation. And again, how that 19 year old man came to be in possession of the gun will also form part of the coroner's investigation. Did the 19 year old man live at the address that the incident occurred at? No. Do you live next door? I. As I said, they are related by family. I, I won't confirm his actual address for the sake of the family. Uh, you said the gun came from a licensed gun owner. Was that um, in either of those houses that the incident occurred at? Again, that will form part of the investigation. Does the arrested man have anything to do with the gun? No, he doesn't. No, no. As I said, he is uh, unrelated to the actual incident where the 81-year-old man was shot. Um, but suffice to say, he was present during police's intervention in that incident. Can you describe or give us any details of how the man next door who was arrested for hindering police became involved in the incident? No, no. As I said, he was arrested for hindering police, so really his arrest is part of a, a, a criminal proceedings. I can't go into any more detail about that. And you're also looking into how he was treated when he was arrested because we've spoken to him this morning and he's claimed that, you know, he was manhandled. As to say, he's got braces all over his head, his arms, his legs. 
Will you be looking into that as well, or are you happy that the officers who were on scene did what they were meant to? Uh, I don't have any information about any allegation that this person might have made, um, but if that becomes part of um, subsequent um, matters that are reported to the police, absolutely we'll investigate those circumstances. There was a woman taken to hospital as well yesterday. Do you have an update on her condition? Uh, I don't have an update, but I guess um, she was taken from the scene by ambulance and uh, treated. Um, but my understanding is she doesn't have any serious injuries. Um, obviously, this is a very confronting scene um, and paramedics were called to assist her. And she was um, from the same home as the 81-year-old? It's my understanding she was, yes. Can you confirm that she is a family member? Yes. Do you, can you confirm why or anything, the relationship between her and the, the 81 year old? No, no, no. Again, I can't provide detail on that, but uh, she is a family member. While it's early in the investigation, are there any suspicions by police that the 19 year old uh, had any mental health issues or have any reason as to why he shot this man? No, I can't comment on that. Again, that will form part of the coroner's investigation. Were there other people present at the time of the shooting? Uh, I don't have that detail, I'm sorry. Are you looking at making any other charges in relation to this investigation to do with the shooting and the 19 year old? At this stage, we don't have any other people of interest uh, in relation to the actual shooting, um, but the investigation, as I said, is keeping a very broad perspective on the types of things that may come up during that investigation. So. How is the family today? Uh, this. This is a very traumatic circumstance. Um, it, it is a, a family member that uh, has been involved in this and um, absolutely our hearts go out to them um, in very difficult circumstances. So thank you very much. Thank you.